Hi students, this is Swarnadipa. Today I am going to give you an introduction about 7th standard mathematics first term. So totally we have 6 chapters. First chapter is number system. Second chapter is measurement. Third one algebra. Fourth one direct and inverse proportion. Fifth one geometry. And sixth chapter is information processing. In number system, we are going to learn about integers. Integer addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and properties of integers. It also includes some statement problems including these four operations. Next, measurement. In measurement, we are going to learn three new shapes. Okay, uh, rhombus, parallelogram and trapezium. In algebra, we are going to learn about terms, coefficient, like terms, unlike terms, then addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions, some simple linear equations. In direct and inverse proportion, as name says, we are going to learn about direct proportion as well as inverse proportion. Next comes geometry. It includes theoretical geometry as well as practical geometry. In theoretical geometry, we are going to learn a pair of angles formed using intersecting lines and then transversal. In practical geometry, we are going to draw angle bisector, perpendicular bisector, then some special angles without using protector. Information processing. In information processing, we are going to learn very new topic, tetromino and then root map. So that's all about our first term syllabus. Now, let me give you an introduction about our first chapter, number system. Number system is defined as how a number can be represented as distinct symbols. In your previous class, in your 6th standard, you might have learnt natural numbers and whole numbers. Natural numbers will be usually denoted by using capital letter N and whole numbers we will be denoting it by using capital W. Now, in this term, we are going to learn about integers. So, usually we will denote integers by using the letter, capital letter Z. So, number system is classified as rational numbers as well as irrational numbers. Rational numbers includes integers, whole numbers and natural numbers. In your upcoming classes, you will be learning about rational numbers and irrational numbers. So, in 7th standard first term, we will be learning about integers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and properties of integers as well as some statement problems including these four operations. Integers. Integers includes positive number, negative number as well as zero. So it is denoted by using capital letter Z. Okay. Let me explain you this num integers using a number line. Okay. In number line, this integers includes zero, positive numbers as well as negative numbers. So what is an integer? Integer includes positive number negative number as well as zero. Now we are going to learn about the rule for addition and subtraction of integer as well as multiplication and division of integers. So sub addition and subtraction we have different rule and for multiplication and division we have different rule. So for addition and subtraction if the sign or same same sign if if two numbers were given and both the numbers were plus sign means we have to plus sign means it is considered as same sign likewise if we have two numbers and both the numbers have negative sign means that include that indicates they have same sign if they have same sign means we have to add okay same sign means we have to add likewise if we have two numbers two integers one is positive and one is negative means that is considered as different sign if these two numbers have different sign means we have to subtract. So keep it in mind. If we have same sign we have to add. If we have different sign we have to subtract. So keep this in your mind carefully. Then we have to write the sign for the for our answer. So for that what we have to do is we have to write the sign of the greatest number for both these situation we have to use the greatest number sign only okay so for same sign we have to add for different sign we have to subtract okay next for multiplication and division 
the operation will be same okay if we are doing multiplication of integers means we have to multiply the numbers okay if you are doing division means we have to divide the numbers but only thing is we have to uh, decide about the sign okay so here if both the numbers have same sign then you have to write plus for the answer if both the numbers have different sign means we have to write minus as symbol but the operations are same but in addition and subtraction we have to decide what operation we are going to use so for same sign we have to add and for different sign we have to subtract so finally what you have to do you have to write the greatest number sign for our answer